All right, welcome to Let's Get to the Marks. We're going through a question on fuel cells at the moment. So here we go. This question is about fuel cells. Where did I get this question? This is AQA Chemistry Paper 1, Question 8, 2023. So let's get into this one. Uh, in a methanol oxygen fuel cell, the overall reaction is methanol plus one and a half oxygens, goes to carbon dioxide, and two moles of water. The EMF is plus 120 volts. 8.1 at the positive electrode, oxygen reacts with hydrogen ions to form water. Give a half equation. I always recommend you underline or highlight. These things are nice and easy. So we've been given the word oxygen. We've been told that hydrogen ions, we've been told that they react and they make water. So just write that out as an equation. Make sure when you do this, you leave a bit of space either side for balancing and adding electron, uh, electrons and hydrogen ions. So we've got oxygen and hydrogen ions because I never normally do that and then it all becomes a mess arrow in the middle leave a bit of space and then that forms H2O leave a bit of space so was that it oxygen with hydrogen ions to form water beautiful right let's balance this up so if we look over here at our water we've got two H's here um, and a one H there I could start there but more importantly I've got one oxygen here and I've got two here so I'm going to start here it's going to make it a little bit easier for me I'm going to need to put a big fat two over here to make two oxygens. What's that going to do? That's going to mean that I need a four over here to make the four hydrogen ions. If I'd started by trying to balance the hydrogen ions, I'd have ended up putting a two here and then realizing I've got to balance the oxygens and rub it all out. So you could do a quick review in your head, but it doesn't matter if you um, just follow it through, but you'll just need to rub out a bit if you do that. Okay, now it's perfectly balanced in terms of the atoms or elements and ions, but it's uh, not electrically balanced because I've got a positive charge on one side and a neutral charge on the other. So I need to get rid of this four plus, And the way to do that is to add four E minus. Of course, what does E minus stand for? It's shorthand for electrons. So by adding four electrons, this is now electrically balanced, and this is going to score you a mark. Boom. What I'd also do is note here in my head, when you're doing these equations, you um, fuel cells or when you're doing electropotential, electrochemistry, basically, note whether it's oxidation or reduction. So what do you reckon? Well, these four electrons are being added or gained. And remember the oil rig from GCSE, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So we have reduction. So we've got our oxygen going to H2O. That is reduction. Super. All right, let's move on. Right, 8.2. At the negative electrode, methanol reacts with water to produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen ions. So we've got a few more things going on here. What do they want? Give the half equation. So methanol, water, makes carbon dioxide and hydrogen ions. So we just want to write this out. Make sure you pause the video and have a go. That's what I like to say um, with all my videos. So don't just watch me go through it. Have a little go on some scrap waste paper that you don't need. Some of those old back of old notes or whatever. Just have a go when you go through the videos and then unpause and, and check it out. Right. So I've got methanol plus water. It's going to make CO2 and H plus. And that's exactly what it told me where I've underlined in pink. So all I've got to do now is make sure the elements are all balanced. I can see straight away, I've got one hydrogen and I've got two over here. But I've also got three there. Okay, so I've got six hydrogen on the left and only one over here. So straight away, we need to whack in a six. Now I've got six hydrogens on the right and I've got six hydrogen atoms on the left. Let's check out the oxygen. I've got one here in the methanol one here in the water and I've got two here in the carbon dioxide so oxygen's fine and I've got one carbon in the carbon dioxide and one in the methanol so the carbon and oxygen perfectly fine we just needed to add in those hydrogen ions now check the electrical balance it's neutral on the left on the reactant side it's not neutral on the right so let's whack in our six electrons neutralize okay what is this oxidation or reduction well little clue it's happening at the negative electrode mm -hmm. Uh, and does that help? I don't know, but the equation helps. You've got electrons coming off on the reactant side. So this is oxidation. So we've got oxidation going on here and um, electrons being lost. So 
Beautiful. Right. What do we need to do? Why is that important? It's important for my next step. So 8.3, the standard electrode potential for the carbon dioxide. Let's get me a little highlight, a red thing out. Here it is. Eight. Yeah. All right. Enough said. 8.3, the standard electrode potential for the CO2 to methanol electrode is plus 0.03 volts. Calculate the standard electrode potential for the oxygen H2O electrode. So we've got one of the electrodes, we've got the other electrode. Well, we can't un know that unless we have a, another bit of data. Like in all equations, you kind of need two out of three to work out the third. Guess what? Roll back up to the top here. We've got the overall reaction. Bear in mind, this is the overall reaction. We have a little, and that is plus 1.2. So we've got a little thing that's going to help us here. One sec, scroll that down. Bear with me. Bear with me, people. Right. This is what you need to be doing. EMF, okay, is equal to the standard electrode potential of the reduction equation minus the oxidation equation. Okay. Redox goes in the perfect order, doesn't it? So um, it goes in the order when you say redox reaction. So we take the reduction half equation the electrode potential for it, and we minus it from the electrode potential for the oxidation half equation. And that will give us the overall equation. But in this version, we've been given the EMF of the overall. Look, we've been given this up above. It was 1.20 volts. So that's not what they're asking us to find. They're asking us to find one of these. Well, they're asking us to find, um, actually, they've been given us the electrode potential for this up here. They've told us, that this is equal to 0 0.03 volts. Now, we just decided that that was oxidation, so we know that's 0 0.03. Um, this one here, if we go back, this was the first half equation we wrote in the question, and that one had the addition of electrons on the left-hand side, so it was reduction. So that's the one we're looking for. So what's it going to be? Well, something minus 0 0.03 equals 1.2 and you got it it has to be 1.23 volts and that's your answer so do remember that that comes in handy um your electromotive force is equal to the standard electro potential for reduction minus the standard electro potential for oxidation awesome and that will get you a mark Okay, let's have a little butchers at 8.4. State why a fuel cell does not need to be electrically recharged. So why don't we need to electrically recharge a fuel cell? Now, if your parents drive a Tesla or an electric car or whatever, they're going to have to recharge it, right? But if you've got a hydrogen or any type of fuel cell going on in there, then you won't have to recharge it. And why is that? That's because fuel cells, the fuel is in constant supply. They're constantly supplied with fuel. So uh, continuous supply of fuel, okay? Or we could say reactants um, in constant supply. If you don't like to write the word continuous or continuously, you can just say constant supply of reactants. Okay, cool. One more mark. All right, I'm going to wipe this all out. So get down any notes you need. And we're going to go to the last part of the question. And it's just a nice, easy one marker. So 8.5 suggests one advantage of using methanol rather than hydrogen in a fuel cell for use in cars. Well, you might be baffed here, but it's a suggest. What do you know is the difference between hydrogen and methanol at room temperature and pressure? You should know. Methanol is a liquid. It's much easier to store liquids. So methanol is a liquid. It is easier to transport whoa, and store. I mean, also being a liquid, um, you can fit more in. It's a lot um, more dense than a gas. So if you if you store a gas, you won't actually have as much energy per volume like per centimeter cubed or per gram per mass either so if you're like if you're storing loads of hydrogen gas as a gas in a car you're not going to be able to store as much as you could in liquid form 
of course you can't store as much as you could in solid form but it'd be a little bit difficult um to use a solid in a fuel cell okay super duper duper hope that helps guys make sure you subscribe share like share with other students don't be a hater be a lover share with other students on your course and let's get to the marks you're still here it's over <laughs>